If you only took five minutes to set up your HubSpot account, then you probably made these critical mistakes that you'll pay for later with broken funnels, inaccurate data, and missed opportunities. So keep watching to make sure your marketing hub is set up for success. Hey everyone, I'm Gabrielle, the head of sales here at On The Fuse. And for the past eight years, we've helped over 1,000 companies optimize HubSpot. But before working together, our clients were frustrated and overwhelmed. They knew HubSpot could help them grow their business, but they just didn't have the time to learn all the ins and outs of the tool, only ever using a fraction of Marketing Hub's powerful tools. So that is exactly why we created the free HubSpot Marketing Hub Masterclass. This is a step-by-step -step course helping you go from beginner to Marketing Hub Pro. And welcome to the second chapter of our Marketing Hub Masterclass. Today, we're going to be walking through the ideal HubSpot setup process from user permissions to key integrations so you build a marketing engine that will actually work to help you scale your business. And by the end of this chapter, you'll be able to define your marketing goals and strategy, configure your HubSpot account to prevent future headaches, and even navigate the HubSpot interface confidently. So make sure to watch until the end for a special tip that only expert level users know. With that, let's jump in. Guys, we know it's tempting to jump in and just start building everything out, but it's really important to define clear goals first. So before you click a single button in HubSpot, take the time to answer these questions. First, what specific metrics are you trying to improve? Lead generation, maybe it's conversion rates, or is it customer retention? Then think about what are the features that directly will support these goals and focus on those first. If you're coming from another platform, how will HubSpot integrate with your existing tech stack? But make sure that you don't try to implement everything at once. Instead, structure your setup with a phased approach. So for example, you might first focus on lead generation through forms and landing pages, then move into an email nurturing campaigns in phase two, and finally implement more advanced features like your lead scoring or customer feedback loops in your final phase. But by the end of this Marketing Hub Masterclass, you will master each one of these features. Once your strategy is clear, the next thing is actually setting up your Marketing Hub account. So there are five key figurations which you need to complete right away. First up is setting up your company branding. This ensures that your brand is consistent across all of your marketing assets, building trust with your audience. So you'll want to first upload your logo, set your favicon and configure your default theme colors. This way, every landing page, email and form that you create within HubSpot will automatically maintain your brand identity. Check out our blog in the description to find a step-by-step -step guide on all of this. Second is user management. This is crucial, especially if you have a team. So do not, and I repeat, do not give everyone on your team full super admin access. Instead, assign permissions based on each user's role. Your social media manager probably doesn't need access to billing while your sales team doesn't need access to modify marketing email templates. Third, and this is absolutely crucial if your website is not hosted in HubSpot, you will need to install the HubSpot tracking code. Without this tracking code, HubSpot can't see anything that's happening on your site. It allows it to monitor visitors activity, track leads, and then use all of this data to help you create personalized outreach. This might be a little bit more complicated, so we did leave a full tutorial with instructions in the link in the description. Fourth is connecting your email sending domains. This setup is often overlooked, but it is absolutely essential for email deliverability. Proper authentication helps your emails avoid those spam filters and maintains consistent branding in your recipients inboxes. 
And finally, we need to configure your privacy and consent settings. So with increasing privacy regulations like GDPR, having proper cookie consent banners and subscription preferences isn't just a good practice, it's often legally required. So make sure to double check this by your country and state regulations if you need to turn on any of these settings. And once your account is configured, it's time to get comfortable with HubSpot's interface. So there are two main interfaces with their key components, the top navigation and then the left sidebar. So first, the top navigation bar gives you quick access to the Sprocket Rocket icon, which is your navigation's user default homepage, a global search, searching for assets, tools, and contacts across your entire account, quick create to quickly create new records, contacts, or deals, the marketplace. This provides access to the HubSpot app marketplace, template marketplace, and the solutions directory. Help opens a panel with support resources relevant to the account subscription. The settings or gear icon opens up all of your account settings. Notifications displays user notifications. Then your account, this is a drop down menu accessing information, billing the HubSpot account and me and other account related links. Then we have the side and bar. So for Marketing Hub specifically, click on Marketing to access campaigns, emails, social media management, ads, forms, and CTAs. You can even bookmark your most frequently used tools at the top of the navigation menu here. Finally, there are Reports and Dashboards, your one-stop shop for all things analytics. You can create dashboards from templates designed for specific functions or build one from scratch. We recommend starting with a template and then customizing it to view your specific KPIs. And here's a little known tip. You can even set permissions for your dashboards. You can make them private, available to everyone or only available to a specific team member or team. And this is particularly valuable for businesses where different departments often need to see different views of their data. So your CMO might need a high level overview while your social media manager needs more detailed engagement metrics. And as promised, this tip is something only seasoned HubSpot users know about. HubSpot has a restore feature that can recover dashboards you've accidentally deleted. So it's hidden in the dashboard management section and it saved more than a few of our clients from big panic moments. So there you have it guys, the three essential steps for setting up your HubSpot account for marketing success. First, we defined the key strategy then we completed the five critical initial configurations, and then we mastered the interface for maximum efficiency. In the next Marketing Hub Masterclass video, we're going to be covering data management, marketing contacts, and segmentation. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it, and don't forget to check out our blogs linked in the description for step-by-step -step instructions of everything we've covered today. With that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.